Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about resolution versus reverb. I think we all know what resolution is. You know, that's trying to hear as much as we can. Uh, getting that balance between our gear, the resolution in our gear, and the resolution in our rooms, right? We want, hopefully, the resolution of the room to be equal or as good as the resolution of the gear. Don't see that too often. Gear today is pretty high resolution, and I see a lot of low resolution rooms. So reverb, what is it? How long a sound stays around in a room after it is spoken, sung, or played? You know, how long does that energy stay around in the room? Now there's lots of factors that impact that. Obviously distance and surface uh, materials that are used inside the room. So remember that the room only sees energy. So resolution obviously is our ability to define that energy. So the energy has to be managed. We have to control that with certain things and we have to do it so that we can hear fundamental and harmonic definition because reverberation is also for low frequencies too. We did a, a church one time in Phoenix and we brought a crew and we shot the room. It's called shooting the room where you put energy in the room and you measure the response. We had a six second RT60 time at 40 hertz. <laughs> so, I mean, it's crazy. So 40 cycle energy, very low frequency energy stays around in the room for a long time and you don't want that, right? What do reflections do off the surface areas? They cover and smear everything that's inside the room. So we have to be very, very careful if we're concerned with that. So we will produce less resolution if we do that. Speech intelligibility is another issue. We want to be able to hear the spoken word. Churches struggle with this a lot. They have the spoken word and the musical word, which supports the spoken word, but most of the time you can't hear either. And no amount of speaker systems or PA is going to correct a reverberation issue, no matter what the speaker manufacturers tell you. I hope they don't tell you that, but I've been, I've heard of situations where they do. So you have to be really, really careful here. Define speech intelligibility. How many words in a 10 word sentence can you hear? Eight, nine words in a 10 word sentence, then our brains can fill in the rest. So we need to get the resolution of the room down to that 80 and 90% range so we can hear more. We have to lower the time signature of all the reflections. Say, let's say here, here's you, the receiver. And here's speakers that are the source. It's this straight line energy from the speaker to the listener that doesn't have all the reflections from the room. This is the wanted energy. Well, reverberation is like a bunch of arrows attacking that. The walls are being, are shooting at, if you will, this wanted direct sound energy with all these reflections and that's distortion and you have to manage it for music and voice you have to manage it with the proper rates and levels of absorption not any absorption rate and level will work for music and voice definitely not those proposed uh, with building insulation so it's that direct versus reflected energy remember straight line versus all of these bullets or arrows, if you will, being shot at the wanted direct energy, because that has less room sound. So we have higher speech intelligibility. We have better resolution. Resolution versus reverb. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.